In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your first Google ads search campaign. Search campaigns are the text ads that look like this when you go and type something into Google. So they are highly relevant, highly targeted and super effective for lots of businesses. It's the most popular ad type inside of Google. So we're going to be walking through exactly how to set these up step by step, whether you're a beginner or newer to Google ads, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know, including how to set up the account structure and how to actually go through and build and launch your very first search ad inside of Google. My goal with this video is to show you just how simple setting up a Google ads campaign can truly be and hopefully save you thousands of dollars so you don't have to go and pay somebody to go and set this up for you. Now, with all that said, let's just jump right into Google and get started. Okay, so here we are inside of Google ads. And of course, if you don't have an account, you can go through and sign up for one for free. I'll leave a link down below on how to go and sign that up. Once you've gone through and signed up, you'll be in a dashboard that looks something like this. Now, when it comes to creating your first campaign, there are actually two different buttons that you can click to start. There's this create button up here. If you click this, you can see you can go through and create a campaign. Or there's this one, this little blue plus down here that you, you can see you can go through and do the same thing. So we're gonna click on new campaign. And the first thing it's going to ask us is what objective we would like to select. Now, if you're new to Google ads, I'm going to recommend that you go either with sales or leads. That's going to cover majority of businesses. You can see there's other ones here that we're not really going to be covering for this situation. We are going to pretend that we are a smart home security system selling doorbells and uh, alarm systems. So we are looking for leads. So we're going to click on leads. If you're looking for sales, say you're selling a, a physical product, you can click on that. We're going to click leads here. From this point, it's going to ask for our conversion action. We are going to optimize for lead forms. Now, if you don't have a conversion action set up, no worries. You set up this campaign and then come and set this up later. And I have resources down below on how to set up a conversion action. But we're going to su submit lead forms here. You may not have a goal at this point. We're going to hit continue. And then now we want to go for the search ads. These are the ads that we talked about where somebody goes through actually in Google and types something in and we're showing up uh, at the top there with the text ads. We're going to hit search. And then the way that we want to reach our goal is by sending people to our website and filling out the form. If you want more phone calls, you could do that as well. We're going to hit website here and then you're going to want to go through and add your business website. We're just going to put Zoco marketing in here. And then now it is asking for the campaign name. But before we go through and actually give this a name, I do want to take a step back and talk about Google ads account structure because the way that you structure your account is really important when it comes to Google ads and understanding how everything kind of works together. So if we take a look over here at this chart, you can see that this is the account structure. And when it comes to Google ads, you have the account, which um, one business has an account. Basically you have an account per business that you have. Uh, and then inside of there, the, and inside of the account, you have different campaigns. You can see we have different campaigns here. And then inside the campaigns, Every campaign can have multiple ad groups. Every ad group can have multiple keywords and then and the keyword and then inside the ad groups, you have your ads and your landing page. So if we come towards the top and look at campaigns, a lot of people wonder how many campaigns should I have? And there's two questions that I always ask people when they're trying to decide how many campaigns they should have. The first one is how many products are you wanting to advertise for products or services? And the answer may vary. Maybe you're only wanting only, maybe your business only offers one product or service. And in that case, chances are you're probably only going to need one campaign to to actually start out with. If you have multiple locations, say that you're advertising in multiple states and say you have an office in Texas and one in Nevada and you need to go through and uh, have different budgets for those, you might want to go through and set up multiple campaigns. But you can see for us, for, for our home security business, we have two campaigns because we have one where we want to advertise for our cameras and one that we want to advertise for our security system. So we have the two campaigns there. And then, and then underneath the campaigns, we have the ad groups. Now in the ad groups, you can see cameras is kind of a broad topic, but inside of there, we sell door doorbell cameras and we sell indoor cameras as well. Kind of the same, kind of very similar, but a little bit different. Inside of each ad group, you want to go through and give it specific keywords. Now for a doorbell camera, for instance, we're going to do bit on things like security doorbell camera, camera doorbell, best doorbell video cameras, wireless doorbells. And the reason why we're bidding on specific keywords inside of an ad group is because we want the messaging to match all the way through. When somebody goes in and types and is looking for a doorbell camera and types in one of our keywords and we show up, we want our ad to be written towards a doorbell camera camera. And then after someone clicks on the ad, we want to send them to a specific landing page. You see, I have this little test URL here, uh, testsmarthome.com slash doorbell so that they get what they're expecting. If we kept these all in the same ad group, for instance, for the doorbell camera and the indoor camera, and the ads were written towards getting a doorbell and somebody clicked the ad and it went to an indoor camera, it just wouldn't be a good experience. So that's why we go through and create specific ad groups and put keywords, ads, and landing pages in each of those. You can create multiple campaign. You can create as many campaigns as you want inside of an account. You can create as many ad groups as you want inside of a campaign. So now that we have that out of the way, we're going to come back over here and we are going to be building out this campaign right here for cameras. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to call this my cameras campaign. And like I said, if there was a specific location you were targeting, you could go through and do it like uh, this is Texas or something along those lines. We're just going to keep it simple with cameras though. 
we're gonna hit continue. And this is going to take us to the bidding section. And you're gonna see there are a few different options for bidding. You can either optimize towards conversions, conversion value, clicks, or impression share. Now for majority of people, if you're getting more, if you're wanting to get more leads, you're gonna to wanna to go either with conversions or clicks. If you are an e-commerce store and looking to get actual sales, you can go with conversion value. Conversion value is gonna pull in the revenue amount so that if you sell something for $20, it's gonna actually show that inside of there. We're just going to stay on conversions for this one. And then we're going to set a target cost per lead, basically a target CPA is a target cost per acquisition where we're telling Google our goal is to pay this much for a lead. So for this home security, we are willing to pay $50 per lead. So that is going to be our target CPA. And you can see here, we have this option to optimize to acquire only new customers. You can see by default, your campaign bids equally for new and existing customers. Um, if you wanted to go through and click on this, you can go, you can go through and set this up. But most of the time, honestly, I just leave it on, uh, leave this off for now and then hit next. Next, Google is going to ask us what networks we want to show up for. We only want to show up on Google search. So we don't want to show up on this certain search, search network or on this display network. You're going to notice Google is going to tell us that, hey, you should go through and do this. But trust me, you're going to waste money if you go opt into both of these. They're just not as good as Google search, especially the display network. Down here is where you can go through and choose your location. We're just going to be targeting the entire United States. If you want to go through and choose a specific spot, you can go through and type it in here. Say that you only wanted to target Texas. You can type that in and then you can see you can just target all that or exclude Texas if you wanted to do all the United States and then exclude a specific place. Next, you have the language options here. And then this is where we have something called audience segments. Now, audience segments is another way for you to target people or to collect data on which audiences are performing best. Now, when you're creating a search campaign, you're probably gonna wanna go through and just search for a couple of things related to your specific niche. So for us, for instance, we're gonna do home security. So for us, we're just gonna type in home security and see what kind of options or audiences there are inside of here. You can see there's this in-market audience for home security. That's a great one for us. We're selling cameras. So we want to do that right there. Physical security and access control, credit monitoring, not as much. Uh, enterprise, no. Home theaters, no. Locksmith services, no. So we have three or four audiences inside of here, which are pretty good. Now I do recommend at least adding a couple inside of here uh, of these audiences. If you can't find something related to your specific business at this point, don't worry. You can skip this part and come back to it later as you start to learn more about your audience and who they are. For now though, we are just going to add these three here. And you can see there's this option for target or observation. We want to do observation because we don't want to narrow our audience too much. If you do targeting, basically what that's saying is the user has to click a specific or type in a specific keyword and they have to be in this specific bucket. If you do the targeting, especially from the beginning, your ads won't really show because it, the audience is too narrow. So we're gonna leave on this observation recommended right there. You can click on the more settings here. This is where you can go through and do the ad rotation. I I recommend keeping it on the best performing ad here that is already on, but you can go through and change it if you wanted to. Here's where you can also go through and add an ad schedule. So if you are collecting leads and you maybe are only open nine to five during business days, you can make sure that your ads are only showing during those times. And then for now, I wouldn't worry about campaign URL options or dynamic search ads. We're gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna hit next now. And then here you're gonna notice that Google automatically added some keywords based on the website that I provided. I give it my, the Zoco marketing website, obviously not a, a home security website. So it went through and added these keywords here. Obviously these aren't ones we're going to want to bid on. So we're gonna go through and delete these real quick. But Google has made this extremely easy to go through and find keywords. So you can either type in your website right here and they'll give you options. Or what you can do is I want to do um, doorbell cameras here. So we're just gonna type in doorbell cameras here and then get keyword suggestions. Google's then gonna go through and give us keyword suggestions for this specific keyword. And you can see here, doorbell cameras, ring cameras. So that's a specific brand. So I'm not, I don't want to bid on that. We're gonna delete that one right there. Um, so you wanna just go through and give this a quick look over to make sure that these are keywords that are relevant to you. Now this, I do want to give a disclaimer that this isn't like an exhaustive list, but this gives you a great way to just go through and start. And then later you can add or take away keywords as you see fit. So I'm gonna go through and clean up this list here real quick. And if you're wanting to learn more about keyword research or how to do it more in depth, I encourage you to check out the video in the top right hand corner here or down in the description below where I walk through a full video on how to do keyword research inside of Google. So now you can see we have a good list of keywords inside of here. Google is starting to give us an idea of what our cost per conversion is and the weekly conversions that we might be able to get here. And now it's time for us to actually go through and write our ad. But before we do that, we do want to go through and rename our, our rename our ad group here. And this is going to be our doorbell camera. 
um, ad group. So if we come back over here, we've now gone through and created the cameras campaign and we're in the ad group right now. We've just gone through and added our keywords. Now we need to build the ad so that when people go through and type these into Google, these are, this is the ad that they're going to go through and see. So these people, people who are searching for doorbell cameras or best doorbell cameras, we're going to want to go through and write this ad here for that specific audience. Now, when it comes to the actual structure of the ad, you have the final URL up here in the display path, which we'll be coming back to in a minute. Then you have the headlines up top, the descriptions, and then you can go through and add your business logo, site link and call out extensions. So I'm going to go through and quickly write some headlines, some things to call it with the headlines. They do need to be under 30 characters and the descriptions need to be under 90 characters. Once I go through and write these, you'll see kind of what the ads actually look like in the right hand column. Okay. So you can see, I went through and wrote out a couple of headlines here and descriptions that match. If somebody, if somebody searches for wireless video doorbells, my ad is going to be showing up here. Now, the way that Google does this is basically you go through and provide them up to 10 headlines and five descriptions or four descriptions and they will go through and kind of test them in specific orders. If you wanted a certain headline to show up first every single time, what you can do is click on this little pin here and have it show in first position every single time. You can see it looks something like this. Majority of the time though, I will leave these unpinned from the very beginning um, to have Google go through and test the ad copy to see what is going to convert the highest. So once you have your ads all built out, it's important to send them to a proper final URL. And that is where the landing page comes into play. Setting up the ad group and all these keywords is kind of pointless if you don't have a specific landing page where these people are gonna be going to that talks about doorbells. Here, we're just gonna grab this test URL here. But now let's come up here and talk about the final URL. Now, this is a part that is often overlooked when it comes to setting up Google Ads campaigns. You're spending all this money to send people to, to your website, but a lot of times you don't have a specific landing page built out for doorbell cameras or for home security systems. So I do recommend going through and building out a specific landing page for your Google ads campaigns. I personally like to use unbounce. There's lots of landing page editors out there. Unbounce is just my personal favorite. I like how easy it is to drag and drop to build landing pages without any coding skills or anything like that. And if you are looking into unbounce, you can click the link down below in the description to get an exclusive offer where you get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first three months. Uh, if you are interested in that. So you can see, we now have our final URL. Our ad strength right now is currently poor. You can see it wants us to go through and add more headlines. So you'll definitely want to go through and add more headlines inside of here. I'm kind of just going for the purpose of this tutorial, not adding all these, but you you can see you can go add up to 10 that will go through and get your ad strength up as well as make the headlines more unique. Um, so do keep that in mind, this ad strength, you do want to try to get this either too good or excellent. And the display path here, this is kind of something that confuses a lot of people. This is basically just an opportunity for you to add more keywords into your, your ad. The display URL is what people see. It's not necessarily what they, they sent to. The final URL is the actual landing page here. Display path is just an opportunity for you to show that it's like a relevant page. So we're just gonna call this doorbell. So we're just gonna call this doorbell. We're just gonna type in here doorbell camera. And then here's where you can go through and add your business name and logo. You just click on this and it'll take you to a page to go set that up for your entire account. You can also go through and add site link extensions. And basically what these look like here, if I just type in dentist, you can see there's these little, little links right here that lead to different parts of their website. If you click and you are selling say doorbell cameras, you wanted to add a site link extension, you could link out to your other products. You could have like your about us page, a contact page. Um, you can see there's some other ones in here from uh, other demos that I've done, but it's very easy to go through and set those up. If you wanted to do a new one, you could hit create new. And then basically you go through and hit the about us page. You grab that and then you add the description here. Like, who we are and then you can go through and add the final url to your about us page right in there we're going to just going to exit out of that though this is an optional step it can improve the click-through rate though so we're going to hit don't save here and then now you can also go through and add call outs these are things like license and insured or 30 30 day money back guarantee they kind of show up on the bottom of the ad right there but after that's set up, you are now done creating your ad campaign. So now we can just go through and hit next and it's going to ask us for a budget. Now, when it comes to budgets, it's going to give you a recommended daily budget, but if you wanted to go smaller, you totally could. If you wanted to set a custom budget and start at, you know, $10 a day, $20 a day, 50, a hundred, you could do that. Majority of the time though, Google does give you a pretty good idea of what the recommended budget is. So you can just stick with that 47. It will give you an idea of the weekly conversions and the estimated cost. Now keep in mind, this ju is just an estimate and in my, in my experience, it's not the most accurate, but still a good kind of baseline for you to go off. And then we can hit next here. And it's now going to ask us to just go through and review the settings here before we go through and publish. You'll see where we're, where we're targeting, the bidding strategy, uh, what our objective is. Now we can go through and hit publish here. And congratulations, your campaign is now live. You'll see something that looks like this. Now I'm gonna go through and pause this campaign real quick because this obviously obviously isn't a real uh, a real thing. So we're just gonna come over here to the settings. If you wanted to pause this campaign, 
and hit pause here. And you can see also in the top right hand corner, because this is a demo account, our billing information isn't even added. So you will need to add the billing information before the ad does go live. Now, if you wanted to go through, but before I do go through and pause this now, if you wanted to go through now and build out another campaign, uh, so you see here, we have the doorbell uh, ad group built out. If we click inside this campaign, you can see we have our doorbell ad group right here. If we wanted to go through and add a new ad group, we come over here to the ad group settings. And this is where you can hit this plus. And instead of creating a brand new campaign, it's going to drop you right into the spot where you can go through and create your new ad or ad group. And this is where you can go through and name it uh, to, you know, over to our indoor camera. So we're just going to exit out of that. And then if you wanted to go through and create a new campaign, all you would need to do is come over here to this top plus and then hit create and then campaign. So hopefully you found this video helpful. This gives you enough to go through and launch your very first search ads campaign inside of Google. If you're looking for more on Google ads, I recommend checking out this video right here and we'll see you in the next one.